Welcome to the Introductions Necessary podcast, a daily introduction to the contributions of women working in STEM fields. The first woman awarded a doctorate of medicine in the U.S. didn't start out with a desire to study medicine. Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell stated that the very thought of dwelling on the physical structure of the body and its various ailments filled her with disgust. She only thought of becoming a doctor as a close friend who was dying, stated that her treatment would have been better if she had been treated by a woman doctor. Applying to many medical colleges, Blackwell was denied entry due solely to her gender. The faculty at Geneva Medical College were unsure of what to do with Blackwell's application and decided to allow their students to vote on her acceptance. It is said that the students at the school felt that it was a joke and unanimously agreed to her admittance. She received her medical degree on January 23, 1849, and traveled to Europe to continue her studies. While practicing as a student midwife, she contracted purulent ophthalmia and lost the sight in one eye. No longer able to pursue a career as a surgeon, she returned to New York and in 1851 established her own practice. With help, she opened her own dispensary in 1853, which was incorporated and enlarged a year later. She joined her sister, Dr. Emily Blackwell, and Dr. Marie Zaksevska to open the New York Infirmary for Women and Children, which added a medical college for women in 1867. Not only did the Institute provide medical care for the poor, but it was a location for women doctors to train and gain experience. Not long after founding the school, Blackwell returned to her home country of England and became the first female listed on the General Medical Council's medical register in 1859 using a loophole in the law that recognized the credentials of doctors from other countries to become the first woman listed in this registry. She opened her own practice and helped found the London School of Medicine for Women, where she became a lecturer in midwifery. Retiring from medicine in 1887, she continued to be a social activist and education reformer until her death in 1910. Introductions Necessary is a production of Nine Hour Films. Our music was composed by Kristen Baum. Please visit our website, introductionsnecessary.com, to listen to previous episodes and learn more about the women featured in this program. We would love for you to introduce yourself to us on Patreon. You'll get the latest updates and find out how to support the podcast on patreon.com slash 9hourfilms. Thank you for listening.